1. Get rid of any questionable posts or images. Social media can definitely be a fantastic platform for sharing hilarious memes and face swaps. However, just make sure the memes, posts or pictures do not represent your negative side. You must use your social media profiles such as Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook to create a convincing image for yourself. The image above is certainly one of the funniest and relatable memes that I have come across, but your potential employers may assume that you are not a morning person who may end up coming in late every day to the office. Make sure your profile is completely employer approved. 2. Post your job requirements regularly. From support for the LGBT community to protesting against animal cruelty, we voice our opinions on topics through social media. Use the same platform to let people know when you are looking for a job. You may get to learn about amazing job opportunities even before they are advertised. Employers may come across your post and ask you to come down for an interview. You can post something like this to attract an employer's attention. I am currently looking for a job in video marketing or editing. If you know someone who is hiring in that niche, please let me know. I have attached my resume to this link so you can forward the resume as well. 3. Learn about the companies you'd like to work for. Have you ever stalked someone on social media? If you have, then you will know how great this platform is to gain deeper insights into someone. It's the same thing when you stalk or rather research your desired companies on social media. Say you want to provide public relations help at a reputable company X visiting their official website will only fetch you 10% of the details you want. However, if you check out their social media page, then you can learn exactly what they are looking for. Keep a check on the company's regular social media messages to learn more about the company. Employers always prefer candidates who do their homework before attending the interview. Check out their latest posts if you are checking out their business page on Facebook. Have a look at their tweets if you are checking the same on Twitter. 4. Use special Facebook lists to your heart's content. You may have had a few drinks at a party last week and you don't want potential employers to see those pictures. Facebook lists can come in handy for you in that case. Facebook lists not only help you build strong social networks with friends and family, but also help you keep your professional life unaffected by your personal life. Create a new list only for your professional acquaintances and use that list to attract the attention of employers. Go to Account Greater Than Friends and then click on the option that says Create a new list. Now say you want to post your updated resume meant only for the professional circle. Customize the settings in such a way that it will be seen only by the people you want. This is how you can create a robust and professional network on social media. It will be easier for you to maintain a balance between your personal and professional life. 5. Let your skills shine. How long does it take for you to post your selfie with the new phone that you just got for yourself? It may have taken more than a few seconds, I presume. Then why would you wait to share your skills with the world on social media? Did you just complete certification for providing new product development writing? Post the image of your certificate or tweet about your latest achievement in 140 characters or less. Did you write a case study on how a marketing project helps a student? Share the link of your case study on LinkedIn or Instagram. Your skills will attract the attention of potential employers and make sure you highlight the skills in the best way possible. Highlight your special skills and let everyone know what makes you unique from other job seekers.